This is what we're making. Let me tell you how I made it. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to share this process with you. I am using another type of DTF film that came from the Yamation Varied Effects DTF Film Kit that I used a couple of weeks ago. This one is Chameleon DTF and it's quite interesting if you can take a look at it. As always, I am going to take you step by step through this process. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's look at the materials and get started. The materials I'm using for this project include, I'm using a white 50-50 blend. It's 50% cotton, 50% polyester hoodie. I'm using the Yamation Varied Effects DTF film set. Now, I used this set a couple of weeks ago, and I used the Glow in the Dark and the Glitter DTF film. This time, I'm using the Chameleon sheet. I will be using the Yamation DTF powder. I'm using my 16 by 20 auto open wallet press that I purchased from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And my printer is an Epson EcoTank 2760 that has sublimation ink inside. I use this foil pan to hold the excess DTF powder. Okay, now without further ado, Let's head over to the computer so that I can demonstrate how I sized the image to go on the film. I am on the Creative Fabrica website, and in case you did not know, they still have their fantastic Christmas deal going on where you can add one extra year to your current subscription for $3.99 per month. However, it is only billed one time. You pay $47 for an additional year and that equates to $3.99 per month. I did sign up for two additional years on my subscription. Now, what I did when I got to the website was I did a search for Valentine's because I know Valentine's Day is coming up and I wanted to make a shirt to get myself ready for Valentine's Day. Now, even though I did a search, I could see this bundle right here and it quickly caught my eye. But if this is not something you're interested in, you can just do a search up here. So I'm going to click on this bundle and I see that there are um, 17 different options in this bundle. And this is a sublimation bundle. When you're doing a DTF transfer, you want to use a sublimation bundle so you can get nice vibrant colors. So what I did was I selected this one i clicked download and on my computer since i'm using a windows based operating system my downloads go up here in this top right corner i'm going to click on the option to download this i'm going to click the option to unzip it now right here i can see this file is called valentine's day coffee i'm going to click extract all what i typically do is click browse and then i create a folder that has the same name as the folder that I'm downloading. So right here, you can see I already have a folder called Valentine's Day Coffee and it's saved in my Creative Fabrica files. Now I'm going to click cancel because I already have this saved, but I wanted you to see my process. Now let's head over to Silhouette Studio so I can demonstrate how I resize the file to fit on eight and a half by 11 DTF transfer film. I am in Silhouette Studio. I am currently using the Business Edition. However, you can download the free version of Silhouette Studio to print even if you do not have a Silhouette machine. I do not have a Silhouette cutting machine. Okay, so the first thing I would do is go over here to this first icon at the top over here in the right panel, and I would change the page setup to match the size of the film or the paper I'm using. In this case, this DTF film is eight and a half by 11. 
However, I'm using it in landscape, not portrait mode. So I'm going to go right here to media size, custom, and I'm going to select the letter option. And you can see the orientation is in landscape. If I click here, the orientation will be in portrait. However, I want it to be in landscape. The next thing I'm going to do is click file and open. And I'm going to navigate to that folder that I have saved when I downloaded it from the Creative Fabrica website. This is the file that I selected. I'm going to click OK. Now that I have my page size to 11 by eight and a half, I want to make sure to resize this file so that it fits nicely on the page. So I'm just going to click on one of these corners and drag it so that the file fits and there is no overlap. Okay. Now, I, what I did was I also made the file a little bit longer. What I love about printing from Silhouette Studio is that it won't restrict me with uh, like page marks and things like that. I can make this fit this entire page and if I want it to, as long as the design doesn't look too warped. But I like it like this. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to File and click Print. And I'm going to click print again, and then I'm going to navigate to my Epson EcoTank 2760 series printer. Okay, now my printer options are not going to show up no matter how long I wait right here. My printer options are actually behind this window, so I have to move this over and I can see my printer is right here. I'm going to select preferences and I'm going to navigate to my sublimation preset with the mirror on. And because my paper is in landscape mode right here on orientation, I'm going to change this to landscape. I made sure that my print preview is on. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to select print. And once my print preview shows up, I will know if my page is set up properly okay this is exactly how i want it to look i want my image to be mirrored because i do have xoxo right here and i don't want it to be uh, facing the wrong direction now that i'm ready i can click print and everything i'll do from here will be back on the camera Here is the printed image, so you can see what it looks like when printed from the regular printer, my sublimation printer, not the DTF printer. This is what it looks like. I'm going to pour a generous amount of powder on it. I just have a sheet of butcher paper here underneath to catch the excess. going to just roll it back and forth now I have the powder poured on top of the film I'm going to let this sit on my heat press for about five minutes with the powder side face up. I'm going to pour the excess powder it back into this bag as carefully as I can. And I will get this closed up and we will be ready to press the shirt very shortly. I have allowed the image I have allowed the image to cure on the heat press and you can see it very clearly. I think it looks excellent. You can see the powder is melted. And what I'm going to do now is pre-press my hoodie. Okay, just using a white hoodie. I'm going to press the film directly on the fabric. I'm moving the string so it's not in the way. 
but I'm also being careful not to press the strings. I'm just gonna place it directly on the fabric with the powder side actually on the fabric. Okay, so here's the image. I am going to let this cool down just a little bit before I peel it. And then I'm going to press it one more time with parchment paper on top. Okay, the film has completely cooled down. I'm going to peel it very fast and hopefully it turns out nicely. Okay, that's, that's really nice. That looks great. That looks really, really, really nice. I'm going to uh, press it one more time with parchment paper on top. for 15 seconds. Okay. Take a look at it. Turn the heat press off. So this is the finished product. And what am I going to say? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love the way it turned out and hopefully you do too. If you have any questions about this, definitely leave them below. Let me know your thoughts about it. Now, this is supposed to have a chameleon effect. I don't know if I see an effect. It kind of gives me like a glitter look almost, but I love it. I think it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear this. Really, it's for Valentine's Day, but this can be worn at any time. So if you have found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!